Hey guys, it's Spandan and in this video we are going to learn about ball animation in Blender using shape keys, not any bones or rigging, just shape keys. So it is simple, uh, select the default cube and press X to delete it. It's pretty simple, you know, you always just delete the default cube. So <laughs> uh, then press Shift A, go to mesh and select UV sphere, right? Now place the sphere in the right position you want. I have gone to uh, pressed numpad 3 so that I can go to the side view, uh, right view in fact. Then go to modifiers and select uh, the subdivision surface because you want your balls to be smooth. Okay, that was kind of wrong, <laughs> whatever. Uh, now divide the viewport into two parts because in one part you want to view the top of the ball and in one part you want to view the side of the ball so press numpad 3 and numpad 7 in both the views respectively to view the side and top of the balls and now go to object data properties panel in the outliner and uh, select plus and again select plus so that the there is key 1 then go to tab uh, press tab and go to the edit mode select the top vertex turn on proportional editing so that it is smooth and it is affected uh, the movement is affected at a larger area now squeeze the top part and also squeeze the bottom part because when the ball hits the ground the ball gets squeezed a little right so squeeze it properly and after you are satisfied with it yeah i'm pretty satisfied right now after uh, fully satisfied press tab to go out from the edit mode and change the value as you can see i'm changing the value uh, and uh, the shape of the ball is changing then again uh, click on plus and Press tab to go to edit mode and change the shape of the ball because when the ball hits the ground and then goes upward, the shape of the ball changes a little. So after changing again, see that the, the, with the change in value, the shape of the ball changes. And then again, click plus and go to edit mode by pressing tab and change the shape of the ball into an elongated shape because when it is in mid air, the shape of the ball changes, right? It is elongated. If it is a very elastic kind of ball, then it is possible. So I'm not pretty happy with the shape, so I'm going to change it again a little bit. Yeah, this looks fine. Now I will be changing the names of each key, like a very uh, obedient uh, modeler. So I am going to skip this part, I am going to fast forward this part a little bit. And after I am done with the names, I am going to the timeline. I have already set the timeline, end value of the timeline to 24 because the jumping animation takes around 1 second. So from 0, I uh, will be changing to it to 0. So from 0, from start from 0 and end to 24. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just changing the values and placing it in the right position and then turning on the auto key so that and then pressing I on the keyboard and entering the location keyframe by auto key it will automatically add key when I change the position of the ball or when I add a different value to the key uh, through the shape keys right so as you can see I'm inserting a keyframe in the value of the shape key and changing it to 0 in the next frame which is frame number 4. Then I'm increasing the value of the a little squash to 1 and again changing the value to 0 in the first frame. So 
I am tweaking the position of the keyframes a little bit so that the animation looks kind of smooth. Now I am changing the position of the ball because when it jumps off it goes to a certain distance right in the Z axis and again I am changing the shape using the shape keys and using the keyframes. I have turned on auto key so I didn't need to add keyframes over and over again because it automatically does that for me. So it's just just trial and error methods. Uh, you can try your own kind of uh, where you want to place the key, uh, keys and at what distance you want to make the ball jump. So all these are your personal preference. So I'm fast forwarding this part. So after I am happy with the shapes in one direction, then I will shift D, I will press shift D and duplicate the keyframes for going down. Right, the ball was going up in a certain motion and now the ball is going down in the same motion. I want to, I want the ball to go down in the same motion, right. So I am just duplicating the keyframes by pressing shift D and placing them in the correct frames. And after that, I have this. It looks pretty good, but I'll tweak a little bit using the graph editor. I've opened the graph editor. I will delete everything except Z location because that that is what matters in this animation, right? Only the Z rotation, uh, location is what is needed. So I'm tweaking a little bit. Uh, with the graphs so that it looks better yeah just turn the handle so that the graph is a lot smoother right Just playing with the graphs. And after I'm happy with uh, the animation, just turn off the auto key. Just checking all over again. And then stop the animation. Now you want a base, you want the ball animation to look good, right? So press shift A, go to mesh and select a plane and make it big, a lot, <laughs> make it huge using the S key. Go to tab, press tab and go to edit mode and then uh, select a edge and press E to extrude the edge. Then press, uh, select any edge and press ctrl B to make it bevel right and you can use scroll scroll button to like increase or no, uh, decrease the number of cuts in the bevel now press 0 on the numpad to go to camera view turn on lock lock to 3d cursor on lock to viewport by going to view and after that place the camera according to your preference which looks good just keep in mind that the whole ball animation comes between the borders, right? Comes between in the camera view. Because otherwise it's totally meaningless. So yeah. So yeah, I'm pretty much happy with what the result I've got. Um, yeah. Now comes shading and lighting. The, I'm not happy with the lighting setup, so I'm deleting the point light which I had. Shift A, go to lights, go to light and select an area light, place it in the correct position. I just scaled it a little bit larger, then press 0 on a numpad to get out from the camera view and uh, Rotate the 
camera and rotate the lights according to your preference. It's, it's just trial and error method. The thing which looks good to your eyes, which suits your eyes actually is a thing you will come up with, right? So just rotate the lights so that it hits the ball and then I have then I have duplicated shift D, pressed shift D and duplicated the light and again pointed it from the other direction so the lighting setup looks good. I have increased the power from 10 watt to 1000 watts. And another the other light to 2000 watts. Now go to zero, press zero, go to camera view and then open shading and the lighting looks better now, much better. Now add, uh, go to shader, uh, shader notes and add a principal.bsdf shader to the plane below and change the color to a violet or a red or blue or whatever suits your eye now select the ball again click on new to add a new shader make it increase the subsurface a little bit so that it looks kind of waxy and elastic -y kind of um, turn on ambient occlusion not bloom, just ambient occlusion, screen space reflections, and motion blur to so that the so that the renders look kind of amazing in EV. Now increase the subsurface and decrease and just just tweak it which uh, matches your preference. Lower the roughness a little bit because it looks pretty good. And after that, change the color base color of the ball according to your choice so yeah so yeah this was the tutor ball tutorial ball animation tutorial using shape keys hope you like it if you like it do like comment and subscribe and share it with your friends it will be much much helpful for me uh, so thank you guys see you in the next video